One type of poem I love trying to write um, is a narrative poem, in other words, a story poem. Uh, they're often a bit out of favour. I think that's the case at the moment. Um, however, um, I've written quite a lot of them um, over the years, quite a few of which I will upload here eventually. And this is a good example. Well, I say good, it's an example um, of a narrative poem. Um, it's one of a set that I wrote about a truly disgusting dog, which I, who I call Delbert. Um, just like the sound of it, Delbert the dog, okay, or Delbert the disgusting dog, Delbert the dozy dog, okay, uh, and Delbert in a dustbin, which is uh, where this poem starts. So it's quite long. It's longer than um, any of the ones I've uploaded so far. It's called Delbert's Dustbins. Delbert in a dustbin is a truly disgusting sight. He clambers out pure gruesome after going in pure white. Kippers up his nostrils, tea bags on his tail. And as for in his ears, well, ugh, let's just say it's stale. Delbert loves his dustbins in the backyards down our street. He raves them for his supper and visits them for treats. Don't even bother thinking of weighting lids with bricks. Delbert is a demon when it comes to kung fu kicks. One minute your lovely bin is a credit to your pride. Then along comes cool dog Delbert, and in a flash it's on its side. In seconds his wagging tail disappears amongst the litter. Grunts and growls and chomping chart his progress towards a dinner. A tasty piece of chicken, a dodgy bit of beef. It's all the same to Delbert and his greasy, grimy teeth. You know that carrier bag with tomatoes, eggshells and fat? When Delbert leaves the dustbin, he's wearing it like a hat. His eyes turn wild and crazy, and his nose is all a quiver if he even gets so much as the faintest whiff of liver. Give him a glimpse of sausage in the garbage scattered round, and he's sniffing, snuffling and snorting like an old tramp on the scrounge. Delbert loves stale custard. He sifts it through his gums. It really is disgusting, but I don't care. We're chums. He brings me little presents from the dustbin just next door. And when he puts them down, they slither across the floor. I take him to the park where I play on slides and swings. Delbert annoys the keeper by tipping out all the bins. Ice cream cones and lollies, sandwiches and toffee, burgers, chips and curry and paper bags of coffee. Delbert will eat anything, which is why he's always burping. And why, when his tummy wobbles, it sounds like jelly slurping. But Delbert is also useful because you see he's able to demolish sprouts and cabbage when he hides beneath our table. I wait till mum's not looking, then I drop them on my lap. Delbert eats the evidence. Delbert's a real cool chap. When Delbert sleeps at night, he curls up on my bed and dreams of flying dustbins circling round his head. That bit about uh, sprouts and cabbage, um, that was an idea that came to me from my own childhood. Uh, when I was a young lad, like a lot of young people, I didn't like sprouts at all. And my mum had a habit of cooking sprouts, so they were a little bit gooey and soft. Um, and in the room where we used to have our meals, there was an open fire. So in the autumn and the winter, uh, whenever she served sprouts, uh, and then she popped outside to get something, I'd get a spoonful of them and hurl them into the back of the fire, which was fine when I hit them on target. The problem was I didn't always do that, so sometimes they hit the wallpaper. But even worse, they stuck to the back of the grate and they sort of sat there and slowly turned black and bubbled and seethed like something in a witch's cauldron. Hmm. Anyway, that's where that idea came from.